Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay and I film the littest vlogs here on YouTube. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so that you know every time I post a video because it's definitely lit on this side of YouTube, 100%, period. Today we are going to New York. Are you from New York even? I'm so excited because I haven't been to New York as an adult. The last time I went, I went for a day trip though so I didn't get to stay. And then the time before that, I was nine years old and I begged my mom to bring me to Madame Tussauds. That was like when I was like on my like heavy internet surfing era and I was just like, oh my gosh, they have a Madame Tussauds in New York. I need to go for my birthday. I was nine years old planning out itineraries for my birthday. That's crazy. I went, but of course I was little so I didn't get to turn up. So now is my time to stay, turn up, mingle a little bit and do what I need to do. So I'm really excited. My main purpose for going to New York is to celebrate my friend Rose's birthday. So Happy birthday, Rose! Ah! Big two six, you heard me? Well, Rose is turning 26 and she really wanted to do a day trip, but I extended my stay, so I'm gonna do a three day trip instead of a one day trip. But I'm still gonna spend like the one day trip with her, which I'm super excited about. So happy to be celebrating her. We have a few fun things on the itinerary. We're gonna be going to the spa. We're gonna be getting micro tattoos. We are gonna be going to dinner. So I'm really excited to be back in New York and actually enjoy myself and just have a great time and I really need this during the time I'm filming this it's mercury retrograde and y'all know that's always a tough time for everybody like communication has been off like work has been super hard like I've just been feeling like I don't have any breaks like I have to keep going and keep going and keep going so I'm really excited like just to be getting out of the house and just to be doing something fun like sometimes we need a change of scenery and especially me I'm a creative I film videos videos but I also edit videos as well for work and because I have like such a creative position sometimes it's really hard for me to like you know get new sources of inspiration as I'm like in the same small town if that makes sense Boston is really really small and like you just get to know everybody you see the same people and it just gets tiring so being able to venture out like will really give me like a different outlook on the world and that will bring in like a lot of new sources of inspiration for me so like I'm really excited about that I'm really happy to get out the house really happy to be celebrating my girl Rose and I'm just really happy to be like just leaving, really, because I'm ready, y'all. I'm just, but that's another conversation for another vlog. All right, guys, so this is my outfit of the day. The top I got on Amazon. These tops are like the best tops that I have ever worn like in my entire life. The way it just hugs the body is so cute. I love these tops, definitely will be ordering more for my summer essentials, 100%. These pants I got from Pretty Little Thing and they're really comfortable. Y'all know since the girls are road tripping, we need to be comfy. These shoes, I actually got these shoes from, I ordered them off of GOAT, but they're Nike P6000s. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know I've already posted a reel or a short about these. Definitely go follow me if y'all ain't following me, period. This sweater I also got from Pretty Little Thing. It's super oversized which I love, which is like perfect for road trip vibes. If you're a busty girl, always carry an oversized sweater with you, baby, especially if you're traveling. So we can take this bra off because it'd be uncomfortable for us. These glasses I got as a gift from my Auntie Ty. Shout out Auntie Ty. But I think these glasses are from z -Lol, and then I have on my Apple Watch and then I have on these bangles, which I got from Amazon as well. Amazon is the plug. If y'all ain't shopping on Amazon because y'all are embarrassed, y'all need to stop playing because amazon has like really good deals and they have really good quality stuff but yeah guys that is my outfit i'm ready to head out we're about to begin the road trip before i do that make sure you like comment and subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so that you know every time i post a video but i'm gonna see y'all in a few we're gonna get this vlog started let's go Period, guys. Y'all already know the vibe. Say hi to my sis, Cass. Hey, y'all. Introduce yourself. I'm Kay. Um, from Broxton. Um, mm -mm, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, on my back. Yeah, Period. I'm an artiste. Y'all can follow me. Where we going today? New York, even. 
Period. Are you from New York even? Are you from New York with no big black puffer? That's crazy. <laughs> I can't wait to go to the deli, y'all, and order me a chopped cheese with everything on it on a roll. Oh. Period. That's Wait. what I want when we touch down. We got to go there. Damn, I don't even know what my order is. It's crazy. Not knowing is crazy. I got my order from TikTok, bitch, so. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I've been to New York, like, a couple times, and I was telling the vlog earlier. The first time I ever been to New York, like, I was nine. Mm -hmm. And then the second time, like, I was older, but I only went for a day. And yeah. it was kind of whack. Like, I wanted to stay. I feel I like, like bitch, I want to stay longer. New York? From what it seems like that everybody's saying, it's not lit until you're like 21. And yeah. I'm before 21, so us being here grown? I know, it's like, we get a redo, we get a reboot. Look guys, we are three hours and nine minutes away. We're gonna be arriving at 946, That's That's which so is good. cute. Cause I was trying to do calculations y'all, and it was, I my calculations was saying that we weren't gonna get there till 11. So I think it's cute that we're gonna get there at 945 now. That's really cute. No, Are you ready? Hours? No, I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready. Let them know what you got. Show them what you got. I'm ready. Ooh! I'm I don't ready. drink and drive, guys. I'm not drinking. I'm going to drink when we touch down. I don't condone drinking and driving. I'm not taking a sip till we reach the destination. Yeah. But what I am doing is eating some <laughs> snacks. Show them the snacks, guys. We, we need got, to show we them. We're going to have a little something for the road. Period. We got some BBQ chips. What you else? No, you can't. I don't know. I love me a good popcorn. Moment. Smart food popcorn. You know? Okay. Mineral water. Because okay, mineral. Mineral, because y'all, we drinking it, right? In a way. And you know, I feel like we got a little, you know, see which is gonna do us right. Exactly, have to have exactly. something in our system to soak up the liquor. Exactly. The Cass pearl? gets it. This was all curated by Cass, guys. I told her to give me some chips and I don't know what else, child, but she went in the there and got bars. the good stuff, I got so. You. And I even got us some, uh, I know you didn't say candy, but no trip is right without some sour candy. Not so. facts. We need the sour candy. Wow, Mira. You gotta record over the bridge. Then I eat. Be oh, we're going over a bridge. It's like a bridge bridge, like. Cute. Okay, we're about to start this road trip, guys. We got our yeah. snacks, we got our good eats, and I need to focus on driving, so I'm gonna see y'all. When we touch down in New York, well, I'm gonna make Cass, Cass don't know it yet, but I'm gonna make Cass give me some B-roll while I'm driving. Mm -hmm. I got you. And we'll see how we get to New York. Ah! Cash Cobain, where you at? Hit me up, baby. Mwah. No bars. <laughs> out the car because he's trying to park it in this garage this garage that we got and then we're gonna walk to the hotel i'm gonna call y'all call y'all it's crazy i'm gonna talk to y'all when we get to the hotel hi. say hi to my vlog how you doing let them know where you at and where they should come when they come visit brooklyn this is this is a a love in, in brooklyn come by any, any time Yes, yes, y'all just finished getting ready we're about to go out for hookah and drinks and hopefully some good food but yeah i'm actually really hungry so i'm hoping that the food tastes really good wherever we go and i really just want hookah i'm about to look on tiktok for a few places because we found a place to go to but it doesn't have hookah but who's going to a place that don't have hookah it is tuesday so like we're not expecting like a party like turn up type of place but we are expecting to you know lounge you know and smoke and mind our business the girls are in here getting ready cover y'all's tits <gasps> Where are we going tonight? Outside. Outfit, outfit. I got this dress, pretty little thing. Period. These shoes are from Zara. Period. The body's from my mama. Girl! <laughs> necklace. <laughs> oh, I got this from Guatemala. Oh, that is um, so cute. These nails. Um, nails from um, 
I forgot her name, but she's my friend. They look a little rough right now. Don't get too close. <laughs> and the earrings I got from Amazon. Period. Top from Sheen. Period. Skirt from Sheen. Period. Heels from Sheen. Oh my god, period. Socks from Sheen. Period. Beat from my what? <laughs> <laughs> Be from my mother, because I'm just that girl and she's Period. that girl. Guys, I need to put y'all on. Oh my god. So I just tried, hold on, it's upside down. I just tried this Juvia's Place lip gloss in butterscotch, guys. Hold on, they gotta focus. In butterscotch, and it is so bomb. I have one right now, as y'all can see. But it's so bomb. This is like the best lip gloss I've ever used. And I know I'll be saying that about the Bath & Body Works lip menthol. That's my favorite every day, but this is like my favorite for my makeup, 100%. And I'm also trying this as well, and it stank, but I heard it make your makeup stay. I literally sprayed this first, and then I sprayed this afterwards, and I'm hoping my makeup is gonna stay all night, because I'm a sweaty girl, and I be sweating easy, so I have to be really careful with my makeup and my face. But it seems like it's gonna be staying. This is the fit. Let me show y'all. This is the fit, y'all, 100% bodysuit from Fashion Nova, jacket from Pretty Little Thing, shoes from Sense, hair by Jackie Chan. Oh my God. <laughs> I asked them, I said, should I put my hair in a slick back ponytail? They want me to do it. They just know we don't have time to. That's why they said no. So I'm gonna leave it as is. And we're gonna go have a great night. Let's go. I'm ready to get drunk. <laughs> All right, y'all. We about to take a mini shot before we head out of Espelon. Y'all know the fucking vibes. Go ahead, mm -hmm. Cass. Take your shot. Okay. To chase it. You never know. Ooh. Real bitches don't need to chase them. Mm. I ain't real. Never that. It was never real. <laughs> it never gave real. Fake. It's gonna be real bitches fake. don't need to chase them. I'm her. fake. I'm go fake. Ahead. Ooh, yeah. She took a big one. She took too. a gulp, bitch. Cheers, everybody, to a great Cheers. New York trip. Woo! Um, Lorraine, your lip gloss looks very shiny. Where'd you get from? Oh, thank you. Um, it's empty. My stomach. She said, "Yeah, I think I should take one more shot." I, like I eat eaten it, then maybe that's why. Mmm. Cheers, Elisiosio. <laughs> you need to use yours. Period. Shot number two, bitch. Eat me a little granola bar. What's there? They ain't got okay. food where we going? Probably, not. Probably not. not. I'm okay. getting a chopped cheese. Love Let's so go. Shiny. You know what a vlog is? Yeah. YouTube vlog? Yeah, I make a vlog. Like, uh, you want to be in it? Page. You want to say hi? Hi, vlog. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them where you from. Uh, Dominicano. Dominicano, <laughs> but from New Jersey. We gonna go on blow New Jersey up. <laughs> I'm faded, y'all. I'm not gonna hold y'all. <laughs> we in New York. Like, are you from New York even? We in an Uber right now, leaving the R&B session that we just left. <laughs> Cass is faded. That's okay, though. Okay. I'ma still take care of her. And Lolo's faded. Wait, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. You know where the rich niggas are? Like, rich nigga, eight figure, that's my type. <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. Like, where's that around here? I have no idea. Everybody I see is broke. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dios mio, papi. Got an no. attitude, but you bad as shit, so I ain't mad at you. No. I don't know that. He don't. I don't even listen to English music. Ay, yeah. Dios mio. Que lo que? Que lo que también. Very good, very good. I know bachata too. You know bachata? Claro. <laughs> I can dance with a nigga all night to bachata. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hey guys, I'm drunk. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I had like, I don't even know, like six shots at the bar that we were at and I had like five drinks. I'm so hungry, guys. The deli closed? It says closed. Why would you lead us to a closed deli? This is open Hey guys. Right now we're looking for like a 24 hour deli and we're so hungry. I really just need something to eat before I go to sleep and I'm faded if y'all couldn't tell. Today was fun, the music was good, drinks was good, the men were not good, the men wasn't in. We're slightly hungry, but New York, I still love New York to the death of me. I'm gonna move here, I'm gonna proclaim that I'm gonna be here. Hey, right. Jay gonna come visit me. Period. I am? Try it. I know she will. But the food and the men. <laughs> Boston is worse. Like, Actually. You know, like, the men at least here will buy you a drink. The men in Boston? What? They won't buy you shit, bitch. They're not even looking at you. They like the whites. Hi. Can I have a chopped cheese? Everything oh, on it on a roll? Chopped cheese everything on a roll? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Can you make two of those, please? Two orders of chocolate to have two, right? No way. <laughs> Drunk. <laughs> right now, y'all be in the chopped cheese. Everything on it on a roll. He cooking this shit up. Happy birthday to you. Is my book actually? No. Bitch, right now we're going to the spa, World Spa. I'm about to take the train in New York for the first time ever. I'm so excited. Like, I can't believe this is my life. So we're about to get on the train, so I'm gonna talk to y'all as soon as we get on there. So don't go nowhere. And subscribe. Anybody else need anything? Good morning, everybody. How you doing? <laughs> Curbin on Curbin. Yeah, Glow. So, Taco Bell. Say good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here he is.
y'all what's up i know i look so i just i look so rough like it's giving so tonight will be the night that i will fall for you that's what it give in the hair but anyways we on our way to um williamsburg right now because we are going to get micro tattoos everybody say hi hey. hi you want to say hi he looked nervous never mind um but yeah, we're going to get Michael tattoos. Let's do our review of the spa girls. So I would give my spa experience a 10 out of 10. My massage was amazing. Like she had me butted up like a ham on Thanksgiving. Like I was feeling so good and so soft. I walked out feeling like a like a brand new woman. And it was just a it's a really good time for me. The spa was really nice. They had like pools everywhere i did a cold plunge guys i was a little scared like oh but i did a cold plunge and then i got into the jacuzzi and then i did the cold it was so nice guys i would give my experience a 10 out of 10 what would y'all give it in why 10 out of 10 okay. i only did the day pass but i feel like it was really fun mm. i loved it i give it a 8.5 out of 10 because of all the things I did get to experience were very relaxing, very calming. I didn't get a, um, a massage, so I, that's why I didn't put that there for the points. Um, mm -hmm. And I think the food could have been a little bit cheaper. But it was still a great experience, again, very relaxing. I would give him a 7 out of 10. Um, it, it was good. It was relaxing. There was a lot going on in the food area. Yeah, the food um, area was really tight, and the food wasn't all that. Yeah, service is real slow. Very slow. They watered down our drinks, like, you know what I mean? So, mm. and, and, it was and the girls it was, hate it a watered down lot, drink. It was a lot of money, like, I, I just had one gulp, and I was done, so. <laughs> it really stresses me out. I had a good time. This is relaxing. It's good to get away. I would recommend. Period. I really liked it. I'm just, like... I feel rejuvenated and I feel ready to get drunk again, again. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> I feel crazy right now because of my hair, but I'm just going to make the best of it because even when the hair is fucked up, I'm still the baddest bitch mm -hmm. out of, you know, mm -hmm. in New York, so. <laughs> even? Like, are you even in New York? Are you from New York even? Like, I'm really trying to figure <laughs> that out, but yeah, we're about to be on our way. I'm going to show y'all dusty ass new <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all New York real quick and yeah see y'all at the tattoo spot we gonna see if we gonna get a tattoo I'm not 100% sure yet because I just don't know what I would get but if something pops up on a 50 minute drive over there <laughs> then I will get it <laughs> but alright y'all see y'all at the tattoo spot say bye bye, bye boo -boo. The many mansions, the girls in the Ruba doing belly dances. Been half of my advancing, Jaws from Branson, and making through my circumstances. But you know I'm wiser now, move like Kaiser now. Got a butter soft lover just to hide my pound. Got a house in the valley, come and find me now. Got enough dough to buy the town, so I might give a six to my chick, bins to my mom's. Crib so big it look like the synagogue. Give her a couch just to spill Henny on, and been a don since Lotto's and Benetton. Some people say that I'm not the same girl. Back is bonkers. Let's 
Fuck it. C O U C O O. It's from the store, Coco. bitch. Coco. No, it's from a brand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm a brand, bitch. I'm a brand. The shoes is called Gia. Period. Um, the rings and the jewelry is this is from Spanish Coco. Period. The jewelry is from Cassidy. Yeah. Earrings. Earrings are from Cassidy. I don't know where she got them. Period. All right, guys. This is my outfit for the birthday dinner. The top I got from H and M. The pants yep. I got from Aerie, I believe. The shoes I got from Zara. A little kitten heel moment. The bag I stole from Lolo. <laughs> the jacket I got from Pretty Little Thing. This bracelet I got from Zara, and these earrings. I got from Zara. Makeup done by me. Y'all know I had to beat it uh -huh. real quick. As she did. And yeah, these are the vibes I've been working with tonight. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram because I definitely will be posting the pictures. Period. Good night. Uh, no bars. <laughs> Shots. <laughs> Cheers the vlog. Period. It's given last night part two. This is how we started off last night too. So we're gonna keep track of how many shots we all take. Okay, we're on one. one. We're all on one. Cheers. Yeah. So a great night and happy birthday, Rose. Yes, we love the birthday, guy Rose. reflex. No, there was spit. You know, spit. It was going. Yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Love you, Rose, girl. That wasn't no shade. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, Rose. Happy birthday. Eh, 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 eh. Ooh, that's burning my chest. Water. What do you shot, mean? Shot, 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 shot. Like they're not. Period. And she knows she's doing it for the vlog too. Right, so don't right. try to be cute. Right. <laughs> Grace, go. Um, Shotty, you know the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> that was a goat bitch. In a taxi. Y'all know the vibes. Oh my gosh, I didn't update them. Hi guys, so right now we are going to Rose's birthday dinner. Period. We in a taxi right now. Me is in an Uber black. Taxi in it. <laughs> you can never. Okay. Uber flack. <laughs> That's what. Can you even spell that? Like, we just can't even spell like, that. Are you in an Uber flack even? Like, <laughs> stop. Come on now. But I'm so excited. We're going to be going out to Nobu, New York City. Nobu, yes. Nobu. No boo no with no, no boo. boo. Oh, exactly. First of all, you bitches can never afford no boo. Don't be calling my bitches you bitches, okay? Because you bitches. Uh, these are my bitches right here. Okay, let, let me tell you that I'm a little to me, guys. I'm she's hungry. Drunk. She's, she's drunk. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little hungry. hungry. But let's just oh, call out all of our makeup right now eats. Fits eats. The one thing you can never say is a bitch don't eat all the time. <laughs> Never starving, bitch. <laughs> 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 Talking shit, sis. Talking shit. So it's gonna be the real deal. Oh my gosh, girl, you are like what? Like 
Gemini's. I love my Gemini's. Cass, I'll get to you next. But I love my Gemini's. And so, like, I love the energy you bring. I love that you are so, like, uh, like you just connect with people. And it, even if you don't connect with people, you find something to connect with to them with and I think that's such a great trait and I love the fact that one you know through Rose Bar too like you're you're amazing like yo know, I'll be mixing y'all you know, everybody loves you like you just be chatting up with the clients they love your energy and yeah I'm just like so grateful you're one of our elite employees <laughs> Ara look like a proud mom. <laughs> like, I'm gonna really link these niggas up. Ara loves to, you know, acknowledge the fact that she's a common denominator. That's what she uses. Common denominator with some people. Some people for me. Some of y'all, it's everyone. It's, she's a common denominator, but not for me. Common denominator. Yeah. <laughs> Happy pink birthday! That skin, that psoriasis that. you got. Right, the <laughs> Ooh. Perfect, good right. molecules. Good I didn't look at a lot about this. Good molecules is very good. Vegan. It's very good. You'll love this it. Is really vegan. Vegan. Yeah. Bitch, you ain't no vegan. I see you eating bacon last night. I had turkey I bacon. Oh, you? <laughs> That's a baby. That's a baby. That's a baby. Ain't no way. Moisturizer. Okay. I fucked up this. Cut for all one. skin types because yeah. I have normal skin, y'all. Oh, Girl! Sorry. Vitamin C, bath soap. Oh, I love this. Yes, I love it. Okay, I love it. Shut up! She loves it! Leave me alone. In the bed is crazy on a vlog. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Happy yeah. pink birthday. Go to, go use all of it right now. If you don't, then Everybody I'm... Everybody come watch me. What? Girl, turn the vlog off. Give it up, girl. <laughs> Happy birthday and she's dead ass. No, yes. With no pants. <laughs> I like it.
All right, y'all. I gotta talk to you. Everything on on a roll. Be making my sandwich now, cause I'm so hungry, guys. I'm drunk. I'm drunk and hungry. <laughs> Bitch, I beat the fuck out of this no, face. Like, and crazy part about it is, I did this in ten minutes, y'all. Ten minute beat. I'm dead ass down. <laughs> These are like nostalgic candies. Like, this reminds me of my granny. Yeah. Miss you, granny. I love a good man. I love a man. He's doing it right, too. I can tell. I can tell, right? Hey, Mama. Hey, y'all, what's up? Today is the last day in New York or whatever. We're standing out here. We're about to go to Sweet Chick so we can grab some food real quick. And then after that, we're going to go thrifting. And then we're going to drive back home. So let's go get some food. I'm starving. We just checked out of the hotel, but there are a lot of sticky bar bags there. These two fools are cracking jokes about how Jay-Z looked like Zaboomba fool. But we outside. Last day in New York. Let's get it. How you feeling about thrifting? I'm feeling good. We found some good pieces. We at this like you know little spot over here. It's not giving what the last one gave, but you know we gonna let it rock. Period. How you feeling about thrifting? Let's give a cookie. No way, Cookie Lion is crazy. <laughs> no, no. Thrifted. Period. Thrifted. Thrifted. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah, this one ain't it. Hey y'all, I'm finally back home and I am exhausted. Literally last night, like I got five hours of sleep, y'all. I put a video on my close friends of us at the deli at five in the morning. New York is a lot of fun. That's all I have to say. Boston typically closes at two. And the fact that New York stays open is something that I really, really like about New York. So y'all got that 100%. Food, y'all got that too, 100%. The food that I had this entire trip was amazing. Like, we have so much to review, and we're about to get into that right now before I close out this vlog. So sit back, relax, get you a cocktail or just a regular drink if you don't drink, or some water if you want to be healthy, 
and listen to this review of my New York trip. The first day that we got there, we arrived and we stayed at the Aloft Hotel. And I will say, in Boston, the Aloft Hotel is very fancy and just like kept up. There it was a little raggedy. I'm not going to hold you. Not raggedy as in like, oh, I don't want to stay here. But raggedy as in I was just expecting a little bit more. The room was really, really small. But I quickly learned that everything in New York is pretty small um, when it comes to rooms and buildings and spaces. I learned that everything is very small and everything is underground. Like when I parked my car in the garage, it went underground. When I had to go to the bathroom in the lobby of the hotel. I had to go down the stairs and go underground. Everything is in the ground, and that's probably why it stink. Everywhere we drove, it was stinking. Like, it smells so bad. In Boston, our air is nice and, and fresh, and, you know, it doesn't hurt to breathe. In New York, it hurts to breathe. The air is musty, like, for real. But anyways, once we checked in, we went to this spot. I forgot the name of it, so I'm going to put a screenshot of their Instagram page right here. The vibes was vibing. They were having, like, a old school R&B type of night. We went there. There was vibes. There was, you know, niggas. <laughs> it was just a great vibe. We had a great time there. The drinks were really good. It was really packed. Mind y'all, we got there on a Tuesday. It was turnt. Niggas was drunk. Niggas was singing. Niggas was buying drinks. Niggas was, it was, it was turnt. I'm telling you, I feel like they're turned every day. After we did that, went back to the hotel, went to sleep, right? Then the next day we woke up, we went to the spa and this day was Rose's birthday, like Rose's actual birthday. We went to the spa, we went to the world spa. The world spa was amazing. I gave my review earlier on in the vlog, but it was so much fun. Like we basically spent all day there. We spent like five hours there. I got like my first professional massage. You know, I've had massages before but they weren't professional you know what I mean so <laughs> but it felt nice to get like an actual massage from a trained professional and I felt like a changed woman I felt so relaxed they had like the meditation music playing in the background and it was just a vibe like I was on like a heated bed she was working into my back she worked all those knots out of my back y'all like every single last knot if it felt tight, it was loose by the time I left. After we left there, we went and we got micro tattoos. And I used this because everybody else's was micro but mine. I really fuck with my tattoo. It's so cute. I feel like the placement is cool. Um, it looks like a mess right now, but it's healing. My hand is like still a little swollen. So we're going to let that do its thing. But yeah, that tattoo shop was dope. They are overpriced, I will say. When I get my tattoos in Boston, I do not pay this much. For this tattoo, I paid $180 plus tax, $195. Was it worth it? No. Did I get it still? Yeah, because I'm in New York. Like, <laughs> are you from New York even? After that, we went back to the hotel. We got dressed, right? And we went to Nobu. This was my first time at Nobu. And I will say, Nobu got it. <laughs> Nobu got it. The sushi? I've been to China before. I went there for two weeks when I was in high school on an exchange program and the sushi is fucking fresh. It tastes like they made it in China. Like no bullshit. I stepped into Nobu. I had the I had the sushi and I felt like I was in China. Like it was given China, like black China, boom boom. <laughs> I felt like black China, like the black China. Like not the person, but like the black China. Like I felt like I was in China, like but black. It was so freaking good, y'all. And then I also got the grilled chicken and that came with rice. It was okay. I would give the grilled chicken like a six out of 10. It was charred. I don't really like charred food because charred give gr like burnt like real quick and it gave burnt to me, but I still ate it. It came with a nice teriyaki sauce. So that kind of like made the char taste go away, but that sushi got it. I also had two lychee martinis. The lychee martinis there will get you faded. I was faded. After like halfway through one of those drinks, I was a goner, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I was trying to keep my composure at the table. I feel like I did a pretty good job, but I was out of there. <laughs> Definitely will be going back to Nobu. I'm not sure if they have a Boston location, but if they do, I might go back this weekend. It was that good. After we left Nobu, we went to this whack-ass hookah spot called Perlog, Perlug, whatever the hell it's called. I don't even care. They were rude when we walked in. 
And when I actually bought a hookah, it wasn't bussing and it was $60 for the hookah. So we're going to skip over that. We couldn't find anything to do for that night. So we went back to the same spot that we went to the first night and it was beautiful. Same vibes. They were playing like amazing music, great vibes, great time. Went to the deli, got a chopped cheese and went to sleep. Now let's do today. Today we woke up, checked out, and we decided to go to Sweet Chick, I think it's called, which y'all seen a little bit earlier. That food was fire. Like I got a sweet chili chicken sandwich. I had the hash browns. I had some Cinnabon pancakes. Everything that they brought out to me was good. 100% would recommend everybody go to Sweet Chick. That shit was good. The music was good in there. They were playing like mellow, like R&B type vibes. The staff were very welcoming and warm. They had great energy as well. And I really enjoyed my time there. After we left Sweet Chick, we took the train to go thrifting. And let me just tell y'all, this was my first time taking a train in New York. It stank and it's too many people. Our subways in Boston, they stink, but the New York stench is like another level. Like it smelled like open ass, like outside and on the trains. But that's okay. I'm not saying I don't fuck with New York. I'm saying I, I really do like New York. It's just stinky. Like it's a stinky place. Like it's very musty in most places. Like in 95% of the places it was musty. Like I couldn't take it. Like I was like, <gasps> I had to walk around and hold my breath in, in, in most places. Like, but yeah, thrifting was a great experience. I got some great things while we went thrifting. We went to three different thrift stores. I can't remember them off the top of my head. I know one was L Train. I know the second one I'm about to show y'all right now. And the third one, I really just forgot the name of it, but it's all in the vlog. Whatever y'all want to see, rewind right now and go back and add it to your itinerary for when you're going to New York, especially if you like real thrifting. Like I haven't experienced real thrifting in so long. I used to thrift like $20 bill, walk out with at least 20 items. Like that was that type of thrifting that I missed and experienced today. I was so happy with my purchases. I seen like a lot of great stuff like in this one that I'm about to show y'all. Like they had Acne, they had Diesel, they had Prada. Like they had amazing stuff for like a great price. I definitely would recommend. Hold on, let me go get the bag right quick. If you like to thrift, go to Beacon's Closet. Like it's the shit for real. I'm going to put this mic down. I hope. Y'all can still hear me good, but I'm just going to show y'all real quick the two things that I got from Beacon's Closet. So the first thing that I got is this dime sweatshirt. Y'all know I love hoodies and sweaters, as you can see. I feel very comfortable in them. It gives like a relaxed vibe, but still put together if you know what to pair it with. And like I have stains on most of my hoodies. I figured out what that's from. It's from using too much detergent. So I'm sorry. I just be trying to make sure the clothes are getting washed. But I guess I got to pipe down. But I got this black hoodie from Dime. And it just has like Dime on the side of it. I paid $24.95 for this sweater. Definitely worth it. It's good quality. So y'all know I had the cop. I was about to leave. Like I was about to be done thrifting. But my friend Lolo ended up finding me these shoes, which are so fucking cute. I tried them on. Like, they're so cute. It gives, like, luxury. Like, so cute. And I paid $39.95 for these. They are so cute, guys. They might look dumb right now, but they look really cute on foot. And I'm glad that I picked them up 100%. Well, she picked them up 100%. I wear a size 9. These are 8.5, but they fit, like, very well. They fit like a 9 almost. Summer is right around the corner, so warm weather is going to be coming in. I'm glad I have, like, a pair of nude kitten heels that I can, like, pair with anything. You can put that with jeans. You can put that with a skirt. You can put that with shorts. Like, you could wear it with anything because they're just so cute. After we went thrifting, we went back to the hotel, got our bags. Then we got the car, which was around the corner from the hotel. Um, we drove to the deli to get snacks and a chopped cheese before we went home. Um, and then we drove home. Yeah, the drive was about four hours, um, four hours and some change because of traffic. We left at prime time. So like we were already expecting traffic. We literally left at five because we really wanted to maximize our day and get the most of our time. So five was just the time that we had to do. And I have a story for y'all. So I brought my camera to Nobu because I figured people would want pictures and I wanted pictures as well. And I didn't even end up getting pictures. But long story short, I bought this camera to Nobu and 
I handed it to somebody to hold it while I was using my iPhone to take pictures of Rose, which is the birthday girl. And I guess they sat it down. And I didn't put two and two together. I thought whoever I gave it to was going to walk out of Nobu with it. But I guess they sat it down and left it. So, yeah. And I just wasn't thinking about it. Like, I was so busy, like, taking pictures of Rose. Like, I just was not thinking about this camera until the next day. And we went to the hotel and we started packing up. And I was like, I literally have a bag dedicated to tech. And I was like, hold on. My camera for the pictures is missing. So immediately, I texted the person who I gave it to. They said they didn't have it. So I immediately called Nobu. They said they had it. They were really great about it. I love y'all, Nobu downtown. Y'all are the shit. Thank y'all so much for not stealing my camera or not letting anybody steal my camera. You guys are the best. Y'all have the best staff. We'll be recommending Nobu downtown in Manhattan to everybody that I know. Because I literally thought somebody either picked this up and took it home or somebody that worked at Nobu was about to steal this shit. Because no bullshit, I would. <laughs> this camera is like a good... $600, maybe seven. You could probably resell it for like $700, honestly. So I'm just, I was really happy that that worked out. Like, I'm just feeling so blessed. Like, because that camera could have been anywhere. Like, anybody could have took that. But that is the end of my New York recap. I'm really tired. I need to get to bed. Today's Thursday and I have work tomorrow and I think I'm going into the office. So I really need to prepare myself and get myself ready for bed. Y'all already know the drill. I'm about to walk my dog, take a shower, meditate, pray, and knock out. So I will see you guys in the next vlog. We're going to get into some more festivities this weekend. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the post notifications so that you know every time I post a video because this is definitely the littest youtube channel on the planet <laughs> but thank y'all so so much for watching i'm gonna see y'all literally next week so be there be square good night